Hey there! Today's Try It Tuesday, I'm going to teach you how to make this really fun bail for the Crystal Swarovski Squares. These are super, super, super easy to make. So, um, all you need are two 14 millimeter Swarovski squares, and I'm using Volcano. You need a size 11 Delica seed bead. I'm using um, Silver Lined Bright Fuchsia. And you're going to need a needle and a yard of fire line for each one. And you're also going to need two jump rings. So to start off, I'm going to attach a start stop bead. So I'm going to pick up one bead. I'm going to pull it almost down to the very end. And I'm going to go back through that same bead so that my thread wraps around it as so. Then I'm going to pick up 10 delicas. Then I'm going to let those drop down to my stop bead. Now, I'm going to pick up a cylinder and I'm going to work what's called square stitch. So just working with the very last bead that I added, I've picked up one bead. I'm going to take that very last bead that I added and I'm going to come back through just that one bead. Okay, back through it. So that when I pull my thread, and I pull it good and tight, the bead I just added sits on top of the other bead. And I'm going to try and see if I can zoom in just a little bit more so you can see it. Now I'll take my needle and I will come back through the new bead that I just added. Now I'm going to do this three more times. So pick up the bead and I'm going to come back through not the very last bead, but the bead before it. And pull. Then I'll take my needle and I'll come back through the bead I just added. And you'll want to be sure and pull good and tight with the thread coming out the way that you're pulling it. So that was one. I'll pick up one. Come back through one, and then I'll take my needle and come back through the bead I just added. Now the big thing here is that you have to watch because you don't want to get your thread caught around any of your beads. So I gotta pick up one more bead, come back through the next bead on my base row. And then I'm going to come back through the bead I just added. And again, you want to make sure you don't get any thread caught. Okay, so that gives me four that I've added. Now, I'm going to pick up my bead. I'm going to skip two beads on the base. So that's one and two. And then I'm going to come back through the next one. What that's going to do when I skip that one bead and I pull it good and tight is that's going to start giving me my V shape that I need for my bell. So take my needle, come back through the bead I just added. And I'm just going to finish the row. Now remember though, we're not adding a bead to our stop bead. That stop bead was just so that our thread wouldn't fall off. Pick up a bead. Come back through the next bead on the base.
and then come back through the bead you just added. And you want to keep your tension pretty good and tight on this. Okay, so I've come through the last bead on my row here. Okay, and I've got my stop bead here at the side. So now, I'll just continue on, but I'm going to work back towards the other side. And each time, I'm going to skip the middle two beads. Okay, so I'm going to pick up a bead. I'm going to come back towards myself. They're the last bead that I added on this row. And then I'm going to come back through the new bead. Pick up one. Come through the next bead on that row. Whoops. Okay, I'll pick up one more and do the same thing. Just making sure you're just going through one bead each time. Okay, I'm going to pick up one. I'm skipping my middle two here. And then I'm going to come through the next bead on the base. And I'll come back through the bead I just added. So that when I pull it, it leaves a little gap there, but that's what that's supposed to do. You want to have that gap there, the little opening. And then I'm just going to finish out my row, doing like I normally do. And when you get them good and tight, it can be a little tricky to get in that, get back in there. But just take your time. And I'm going to, to continue adding my beads and skipping the middle two until I, I'm left with just two beads 